Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of things that I can't live without. Um, but before I get into that, um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about YouTube for like a second because I definitely have been away from making videos for quite some time. Um, but I've also stopped watching YouTube videos as much as I used to because I feel like I just don't relate to the people that I started watching like many years ago. Everyone has gotten so big and so famous and definitely just unrelatable to me. And my point of watching YouTube, or at least why I really enjoyed it, was because I like to see what people buy and what their opinion was on certain things. And I felt like I could shop at places that they shopped at and buy the makeup that all these girls bought or clothes or whatever the case may be. But now it's like gotten totally like crazy and big and that's great for them because everyone has found their success but i'm like wow like i really don't relate to anyone and i don't believe what these people are saying anymore about products because they try so many different things and always trying new things and new brands so it's like okay one day you love this thing and one day you love another thing like it's hard to keep up so I started thinking I was like I really love to make videos like I love getting all you know glammed up for it and talking about things that I like and things I want to buy and giving my opinion on products that I use on myself so I decided that I'm just going to make videos about whatever I feel like like if I feel like talking about juice one day I'm just gonna sit here and talk to you guys about juice and hopefully someone out there relates to me and whether it's about stuff that I like in fashion or makeup or things if I talk about my kids, being a mom, stuff like that. So I'm just really excited to just make videos about whatever I feel like talking about, whether it's, like I said, fashion, makeup, stuff in the house, kid stuff. I just want to do something that I enjoy and that I started watching YouTube for to begin with. So with that being said, my little spiel, um, let's just jump into what this video is about and it's 10 things, well, not 10, I think I have nine, I didn't make it to 10, but these are just a couple of things that I realized that I just can't live without. If someone said, you know, you have to choose a specific thing from certain categories, what would it be? And this is what it is for me, at least from what I could jumble up. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with um, my essential like makeup stuff. If I were to be asked, like in terms of makeup, what could you not live without? Of course, it's gonna be foundation. Like I need to have foundation. I just can't get dressed up and go somewhere and not put foundation on my face. Like kudos to whoever has amazing skin and can do that. Like God bless you and your beautiful skin, but that's not the case for me. So I definitely need foundation. I don't have a specific foundation that I can't live without. Like, oh my God, it must be that one. It just has to be full coverage and matte and that's it um, for me. But I need foundation in my life, definitely. The next thing that I most definitely need, especially being that I don't get a lot of rest, is concealer. Like, I cannot live without concealer. Sometimes I don't even put foundation on, but I do definitely have to throw on some concealer because under my eyes is just a hot mess and this just saves you. And I have not stopped using this particular concealer, which is the Tarte um, shape tape um, concealer and it is super full coverage but I absolutely love this concealer it blends so nicely even though it is thick and full coverage and it's just amazing and I crease under my eyes no matter what concealer I use so I you know do have some creasing even with this one but I just love the coverage and I love how it blends and I love the wands it has a super huge wand and like I said, I have not stopped using it ever since this thing came out. I've repurchased it. I have a little mini one for backup because this one's almost done. And just absolutely love it. Then, of course, I cannot be without a cheek product. So it's either bronzer or blush. But in, I'm just going to go with the blush in this case. And it has to be something like peachy, pinky for me. Um, I cannot be without something to put a pop of color on my face because then you just look dead um so yeah definitely bronzer or blush but i would definitely have to go with the blush i guess if i had to choose a, a cheap product okay so moving on mascara i have small eyes so i love 
mascara because it just opens up my eyes and makes me look awake and bright and it makes an absolute huge difference when you have your makeup on and you put on mascara it just looks a lot different a lot better and just amazeballs so I would have to go with this one because I just absolutely I mean I just need mascara in my life period but this is just like the mascara that I've always gone back to in terms of my lower lashes because it's just amazeballs. It has this long skinny wand and it just does so much coverage so fast and I feel like this is the mascara that I do the least mess with under my eyes and I can also use it for my top lashes and it makes them nice and long and separated. So if I had to choose one, it would just definitely be this one because it works for both top and bottom. And I always, always, always have gone back to this. I tried, I believe, a Clinique one, and it was good. It did the job, but the wand is super small, and it just doesn't beat this. So I always go back to this. I absolutely love it. And lastly, in terms of, like, makeup tools, I can't live without a beauty blender. This thing is super dirty because I just did my makeup, but I love the beauty blender. I'm so lazy with it. It's so weird because when I forget to, like, wet it, it's like, oh my God, I forgot to wet the beauty blender and it just like turns me off. And I don't know why it's so simple, just wet it. But I guess I just don't want to wet my hands. Like, come on, I don't want to wet my hands and then I got to turn around and then I got to dry my hands and it becomes a whole big thing. So anyway, I even use it dry. Like my main thing with this is to use it under my eye. I love to blend out my concealer with a beauty blender. It just makes it so much more smoother and just amazing the way that it blends out. I don't always love it for foundation because I feel like sometimes it can just like not give you the full coverage that I always want. So I don't necessarily love it for foundation, but definitely this is a must for me in terms of blending out my concealer. I just absolutely love it as a makeup tool. So yeah guys, that's it for like the whole beauty portion of what I would need in my life um, in terms of makeup. So now, oh, I forgot to mention um, moisturizer. I cannot, cannot ever in my life, if anything, it's moisturizer. I cannot survive without moisturizer. My face feels like a complete desert, tight, like I can't talk, like it's just like stretching itself. No matter what, I have to put moisturizer. At night, I use a serum and I asked my best friend, she uses the same one, and I asked her if she puts moisturizer after it, and she tells me no, that she doesn't. And I definitely cannot do that. Like, I tried to, and I was like, no, I need moisturizer. And currently, I'm using Cetaphil because my face got really dry because I, I used a, a face wash, um, and it completely like dried up my skin a lot. So now I'm using Cetaphil, and it's for dry, sensitive skin. And it's super good, this um, thing. It's almost done. I mean, I've had it for a long time. You can't see in there, but um, it's like less than halfway. But anyway, I really, really love this. It's nice and thick, and it definitely is great for anyone who has dry skin. So I recommend this if you have dry skin. Okay, the next thing I cannot live without are... Um, what are these things called? Uh... Hello, I can't live without you, and I don't... And I forgot your name. Head ties. Um... If you look at my pictures on Instagram and stuff like that, you'll most likely see on my right hand a black head um, hair tie. Lord have mercy, what's happening? Because I always, always have a hair tie. Like I can't leave the house without one because I'm always tying my hair if I'm gonna eat or if I have to do something with the kids or I just feel like I just can't be without it. Like it's always, like I have one. These are not the ones that I use. This is one of my kids. Um, head ties for school but look I have one here and my favorite ones are from Goody the ouchless ones just plain black they don't have like this metallic thing that these have like I don't like these I feel like these are they break way easier so I definitely just like these black ones that have nothing around them and I always always have one on my wrist and I try to remember to take it off because I'm like my pictures always come out and I have like these things on my wrist like all the time so I try to remember to take it off but otherwise it's always there and I cannot live without one of these bad boys I'm constantly buying them and I get mine at Target usually um, so yeah the goodie ouchless black head ties love them okay another thing that I cannot live without I have not lived without since I was little 
that is always by my bedside every single night along with a cup of water is Vicks. I use this bad boy for so many things since I was so little it's just insane like I cannot live survive like even if I'm going to sleep over someone's house uh, another family's house like I always make sure that this is packed in my bag because I just need it like now I feel like I'm just like like addicted to it or something I don't know but I use this on my mouth as like Vaseline I put it in my nose I put it on pimples I put it on a mosquito bite I put it on my kids if they're sick I just absolutely love it it's a remedy for so many things in my life and I cannot be without it and like seriously like it's there like I sleep with it every single night ever since I can remember like at hands reach because I wake up in the middle of the night and I will put it on my mouth or I will put it in my nose I just love this thing and I can't live without it and I don't see myself living without it it's gonna be with me till the end of days I just love it okay and lastly um, definitely not least though I cannot and when I say I cannot live without coffee this is just my morning glory like I fall asleep thinking about waking up to my beautiful coffee and it has to be Bustelo of course because it's just the best coffee ever in life um, anyway I am definitely a coffee person but I don't drink coffee like all day three four times a day it's just my morning coffee no one can take that away from me I don't care what it is the only time that I stopped drinking coffee for a little bit was when I was first pregnant and that's because you know when you're first pregnant you want to follow all the rules and you can't have caffeine and you can't have this and you can't have that so I was scared to have it because I thought it was gonna be a big deal but it really isn't so I stopped having coffee for a little bit but then I was like alright I'll just have it decaffeinated so I started having decaffeinated but that's it that is the only time that I stopped drinking coffee um, otherwise you cannot take this away from me like my morning coffee is my life it is everything and I need to have it no matter what so yeah guys so that's a little bit of the a couple of products or a couple of things that I need to have in my life all the time um, in terms of the makeup it doesn't have to be like a specific thing but those are just the essential makeup things that I need on my face for my life um, so yeah uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed my little video here. I'm so happy to have made another video and not taken like 500 months to make it. So thank you so much for watching. If you're a new sub, thanks for the support and for subbing. And I really hope you enjoy my channel. Like I said before, I'm going to keep trying to make videos as much as I can. And I'm also going to just make videos that are relatable to people out there. Because for me, that's what I like YouTube for. And hopefully you guys can relate to me. So yeah guys, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.